In this video, we're going to cover how to do questions like this. We call these questions graphical inequalities, and they require us to plot a bunch of inequalities on a graph. In this case, y is more than negative 4, x is less than or equal to 2, and y is less than 2x plus 1, and then find the region that satisfies all of them. And for this particular question, we're going to have to shade that region in. To plot inequalities on a graph, you basically want to think of the inequalities as normal equations. So you just plot the lines y equals minus 4, x equals 2, and y equals 2x plus 1. If you can't remember how to plot lines on a graph, we've done a separate video on how to do it, so it might be worth checking that video out first. Now, one important difference is that if the inequality has a less than or a more than sign, you need to make the line dashed. But if it's a less than or equal to, or a more than or equal to, then we draw it with a solid line. So if we go through this question properly, and start with y is more than negative 4, that would be a dashed horizontal line that crosses the y-axis at negative 4. And because our inequality tells us that y is bigger than negative 4, we know that the y-value must be on this side of the line. Because all of these y-values, like negative 2, 0, 2, and all the others, are all bigger than negative 4. In exams, a good tip is to draw two little arrows like this to help remind you which side of the line you're looking at. Then for our second inequality, x is less than or equal to 2, we draw a vertical line that cuts the x-axis at 2. And remember, because it's a less than or equal to sign, the line needs to be solid like this, rather than dashed. And because it's less than or equal to 2, we know that the x value will be somewhere in this region to the left, where the x values are all smaller than 2. So we can draw our arrows on like this, pointing to the left. Finally, for y is less than 2x plus 1, we draw a line that has a gradient of 2 and cuts the y-axis at positive 1. And remember, we have to draw it as a dashed line because it just has a less than sign. Figuring out which side of the line we're looking at is a bit trickier here. But basically, because it's a less than sign, we're looking at all the y values that are lower than the line. So we can put little arrows pointing downwards. Also, I should point out that you won't get marks for the arrows in your exam. They're just to help you personally figure out which sides of the lines you're interested in. Then to finish the question, we just need to shade the region that satisfies all the inequalities. So that means the region that's above our purple line, but to the left of our turquoise line, and also below the blue line, leaving us with just this little region in the middle as our answer. And this is how it normally works. You'll end up with a little area in the middle, in between all of the lines you've drawn. So it's normally pretty easy to spot. Something else to point out is that instead of being asked to shade the region, you might sometimes be asked to label the region in some way. For example, label the region that satisfies all three of the inequalities with the letter R. So in that case, you'll just put a big R in there. Alternatively, you could be asked to mark all of the points that satisfy all the inequalities. So for that, you'd have to put little crosses on all of the points inside the area. Importantly though, because x is less than or equal to 2, we also need to put crosses on these points, because the x value can also be 2 itself. Let's quickly have a go at one more before we finish. This question says that the region R satisfies the inequalities x is more than or equal to 2, y is more than or equal to 1, and x plus y is less than or equal to 6. And it then asks us to plot the inequalities on the grid to the right, and use shading to show the region R. 
So the first thing that we want to do here is draw out our lines with their little arrows on. So x equals 2 with arrows to the right, y equals 1 with arrows upwards, and x plus y equals 6 with arrows downwards. And now that we have all of our inequalities, we just need to find the region that satisfies all of them. So to the right of x equals 2, above y equals 1, and below x plus y equals 6. And now that we've found it, we just shade it in, and we're done. That's everything for this video though. So if you found it useful, then please do tell your friends and teachers about us. And thanks for watching.